What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Big Q. And your girl Bernie B. Team Boy TV for week 11. We start week books. 11. Mm-hmm. And then you see it. You see it. There it is. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Look, I was, I, look I've been so. Did act system. Man. I gotta get it out. Get I gotta it out. get it out. Because look, I've been so excited because, like, I'm telling you, well, you weren't even around for, like, the first part of the game because, like, right. you should have seen me. I'm sitting there on pins and needles. It was crazy. It was a good game, though. It was like a. It was a good game. It was a good game, man. Um, both teams played. Some extraordinary football. Mm-hmm. Um, well, defense at least, you know. Yeah. Uh, it was a good game. All in all, it was a good game, and I was, and I was actually so, uh, satisfied with the outcome. So one point win, but hey, I'll take it, um, and that kind of thing. So, so I'm done gloating for a minute anyway. Uh, let's let's get into the recap. yeah, let's get into the recap. Okay, so Redskins lost to the Vikings. Mm-hmm. Um, Eagles over the Packers. Jaguars. Off that skin, yeah, the Titans. Yeah. Uh, Steelers over the Bills. My Giants over the Raiders. Rams over the Colts in a beat down. Yeah. Um, Seahawks over the Falcons. Ravens over the Bengals. Lions over the Bears. Panthers over the 49ers. That's right. Cardinals over the Texans. Broncos over the Chargers. Saints in a whip yeah. over those Dallas Cowboys. Cowboys let me down. And the Buccaneers also got off the skid. Yes, it is. So, n- we were exactly 9-5. and five. Nothing right. has changed. Man, let's change. So, there's still that four-game gap. That's I'm like, hold on for league. a couple more weeks, mm-hmm. man. I like, hold on for a couple more weeks. I'm telling you. Um, not a whole lot really been going down in the news this week. Uh, more stuff on the, the Miami Dolphins and the, the Richie Incognito scandal, which I, you know, I think is getting completely out of control. But, um, I guess... Tomorrow we'll know more, and I, we might be able to talk about it a little bit tomorrow night. Well, what do you think of the? Go ahead, finish. Well, I was saying that the the, the owner is gonna yeah. gonna meet with Jonathan Martin tomorrow. Okay. Right? So, what did you think about his press conference that he gave? I thought his press conference was, and if, if I'm gonna be honest, I thought it was it, it, it was canned, and and you know you saw the prepared statement because he had a paper. He said the things that I, that that I thought that he should have said. Um, I don't know. It, it just, he looked like a guy who was trying to clear his name mm-hmm. of, of, of this ridiculous stuff. Like, you got you, idiots in your locker room doing stuff, and he want to kind of distance him, himself away from that. That's what it looked like to me. I don't, I don't know what you got out of it. Well, I mean, I thought, it, I thought what he said was genuine. I thought it was interesting that he never mentioned the GM. No, he didn't. Um, this team spent $200 million pretty much during yeah. this offseason acquiring players. Mm-hmm. And y'all are no closer to achieving a goal as an NFL team. No. Um, the one thing, though, that disturbs me about the whole situation is whatever was said or was done, this guy felt comfortable enough to call somebody out of their name. Yeah. And other dudes know what he said, and they're acting like that it's no big deal. That are yeah. African American. Yeah. I have a huge issue with that. Yeah. This whole thing of calling us the N word amongst ourselves. That's not cool. I don't. I don't know why we think it's cool. Or we supposed to take a negative and make it a positive. It's not working. No. The word needs to be stopped being used because people are starting to think that it's just. It's just what how people talk. Mm-hmm. It's not how people talk. That's right. And it's not cool. So for me, you know, all this your mother running the train on your sister. That stuff is stupid. Mm-hmm. When you start calling me out of my name, you're doing too much. Yeah. That's and that's my beef with it. But. Now, I think what else, I think what happened on Sunday, I think it was Sunday, <coughs> that uh, Richard Incognito had the interview with Jay Glazer, right? Mm-hmm. And he was talking about uh, he was showing some text messages. Then we found out later that he was a text message from, from a funny meme with a chick with a cat talking about I will murder your whole family. And you know, Incognito was trying. I don't you know what the, like the situation. Getting it's getting really, really ignorant in my opinion. But I, but I tell you this right here, though. Um, the the Miami Dolphins team is, is falling apart at the seams. Mm-hmm. Um, there's a lot going on. I mean, the, the, so the, what's your prediction for how it's going to fall out, though? I, I definitely think Jeff Ireland, the, the general manager, won't make it out of this. I, I got a feeling that Joe Philbin, even though the, the, the owner was expressing all his confidence in, in, you know, in, in Philbin <coughs> last night at the press conference, but... I don't know, man. It, you know, it's like I was saying earlier, I think the dude was saying things to distance and, and himself and clean up his name, make sure his name was clean. Mm. <clears throat> and if that, if that 
if that means getting rid of Joe Philbin, that means getting rid of Joe Philbin. But I don't think Incognito or Martin or either one of them will return to the team. I don't either. You know? I, I do like this uh, player review committee that, that yes. came out of it with Tony Dungy, Tony Dungy and Jason Taylor. And, uh, and, uh, Bill Walsh. Yeah. And, yeah, a couple I of thought people. those were some yes. pretty good picks. <clears throat> I think it's a cool thing for Tony to do anyway because yeah. I see him as the next um, Absolutely. commissioner. So, but, it'd be cool. But you know, there's, there's all that stuff going on in Miami. And then I was uh, watching a game last night and I saw Mike Wallace kind of easing into this, into the Dez Bryant thing. He was he was losing his cool. He was unraveling a little bit. Uh, I'm just saying. Well, there's a reason why they got rid of Mike Wallace in Pittsburgh. Oh, absolutely. He's a one-trick pony. Yes. yes so, yes. I mean. He's unraveling a little bit. Yeah. But, you know, it was a big night for, for Tampa. Mm-hmm. Um, they, they were honoring uh, Warren Sapp. They had the whole entire defensive squad there with them, including, you know, Rondé Barber. All the boys were there. It was super cool. <coughs> Tampa, Tampa was playing really good football. Mike Lennon, you know, despite the the, the, the interception. And, but he, the, the dude can, he can go. Yeah. He can go, you know. T- Tampa played a pretty decent game. They, they, they were going to fight. They Fell apart in that yeah, second half. Second so half started, they, yeah. yeah, they they. I thought it was, I thought you know the first half was actually an interesting game. I thought so. Yeah. Into the second quarter, they kind of like dropped off. Right now, the other thing um, I saw this morning was uh, the Houston Texans came to terms with with one Ed Reed. Mm-hmm. And at first, when I read this, I didn't know how to take it because you know the way the NFL app worded it was that they released him after Reed made statements about. Uh, the Houston Texans being out coached and outplayed uh, last week. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I, just... I, I'm sure they released him because of the statements, but I'm sure that was the, what they say, the uh, the tip of the iceberg of what's really going on in that locker room. Yeah. I just think that that was like, okay, you want to talk like that, then let's just part ways. But I'm sure there was some trouble or some problems on that coaching staff. He was frustrated, the guy said that interviewed him, and he also said that he was uncomfortable with the lack of playing time he was getting. But you know, um, Houston is another team, another squad that's falling apart, man. Mm-hmm. The team is falling apart. Mm-hmm. And I thought Tampa was going to be that team, because it looked like Tampa was falling apart. But the way they played last night, they showed that they were still together. But, but I don't know about And they like their coach, obviously. Yeah, I don't know. So. You know I, I, but I don't know what's going on in Houston, man. You know, Gary Kubiak collapsed a couple weeks ago, ain't returned to the team yet. Um, so. Uh, some interview where uh, said that the owners were, were getting frustrated with him in the direction of, of the coaching of the team. There's a lot of stuff going on in Houston. You know, you I know. hear that, but you still <clears throat> have to have the, the personnel on the field to do it. You do. I mean, you they saw what Matt Schaub had, how far he was able to take this team yeah. the last three years right. now. Yeah. And y'all draft who? You get what quarterback? Well, see, here's the thing. So, I mean, There's certain situations where you just can't, you can't help. Nobody could foresee uh, shop going down and then t- uh, Yates yeah, going down. Shop was playing, and then, he playing good. Well, then you got Keenum in there and then and then you lose Aaron Foster for the season. You know what I mean? Uh, Andre Christian J- again. Christian is, you know, like nobody could foresee those things. You know what I mean? Right, and so when you have an injury riddled team, you can't really talk about coaching because you still have right. to have personnel on the field. Absolutely. Well, I, you know, I, I don't know. I just think that we're going to see a lot of changes being made in Houston in the off season. Mm-hmm. I think we're going to see a lot of changes being made in Miami in all season. And there's a couple other squads that, you know, I mean, like. Uh, I think Dallas is going to have some changes during the offseason. I, I, I hope they would. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I hope they would. I hope that, you know, Jerry Jones built in some kind of fail safe back door to Tony Romo's contract, man. He didn't because he, he <laughs> thinks he's a fantastic quarterback. Jerry, <laughs> wow. Jerry Rice sips, you know, sips their syrup. Yeah, I guess so. I'm trying to think of what else went down this weekend that we want to talk about before we go into the social media break. Is that it? Was that everything? Like that, of, of, of like super important. I think so. The you know, United Kingdom and Finland thing is like swarming. Yeah, it's, it's, it's everywhere. You know, yeah. Well, I mean, look at that. Like, tomorrow we'll we'll see how this meeting goes. Um, of course, we we will we'll report on it if it's something worth reporting. I don't know, man. I just I just think that you know instead of doing all this stuff, and I, and I think only what I want is doing. I'm gonna say it again is that he trying to save face. Because honestly, if I'm that owner, man, and this stuff going down between Jonathan Martin. And Richie Incognito, I would rid myself of both of them. I mean, he never suspended. Um, what well, other dude left the team? He didn't left the team, so he, he didn't return his call. Right, so, so he didn't own a call. He, he didn't breach this contract. So you for me, but you don't return yeah. my call. He's out of here, and then he was suspended the other one indefinitely. Man, look, wash your hands of these dudes and move on. Well, you can't really do it right now because it doesn't look right. Uh, yeah. I mean, you so, know, you, sometimes you, you and not you being accused of not providing a safe 
work environment. Right. So you have to address yeah, it. Yeah, I guess so. You I have to address it. I, I'm just a little bit. I'm a but little yeah, bit sick of I guess that <laughs> yeah, is true. You know. He has to address it to let you know he's. Yes, he's an actor. Owner. But he don't want to talk to to Jonathan Martin for what? Like to get to get what information? To understand what? You know what I mean? For all we know, this Jonathan Martin cat might just be you know inducing this scandal for his own benefit. Who knows? I don't know. Yeah. Apparently, he wasn't that good of a player. I was watching uh, Jonathan. I mean, John Gruden break break down. You know what the offensive line looked like with incognito in and uh, Martin, and then when they switched Martin to the other side, and they break like the dudes couldn't ball anyway. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Who cares? You know what I mean? I'm just saying, let's, let's get these boys up out of here. Now, we're going to go and check out our social media break. We'll come back. We're going to pick these things, and we're going to see what's popping, all right? All right, we're back. Okay, let's pick them. Let's see what's up. All right, so mm. that Thursday night game is the Colts at Titans. Well, the Titans, um, they act like they don't want to. They, they, you know, they act like they don't want to play. What if you notice that, all right? Like the, the Titans are always that team that get beat by a win, a, win, a winless team. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to think of who somebody beat them the time before. Who had? I think it was the Jacksonville Jaguars. I think. I think it was the Kansas City Chiefs. Yeah, but, yeah it was somebody. I know, but. But you know the Titans, man. I, I think that this season, even if you look at the division of breakdown, they still got a shot. I just, oh, absolutely. I don't know. I, I, I think that you the know the way the Colts got embarrassed last week. Yeah. Oh, they coming out for it. I think so too. I'm going. I'm going with the Colts as well. Yeah, I got the Colts. Okay, Jets at Bills. The Jets. <laughs> So I don't want to sit here and say the Jets are playing good football. Right, and the Jets lose de- every other week. Right, but the Jets defense has been has been okay. You know, yeah. what I, mean? I like watching mm-hmm. the Jets defense play. Um, the Buffalo Bills they ain't been right since you know uh, Manuel went out the first time, right? Mm-hmm. Um, I'm know. picking the Jets. I'm picking the Jets too, man, because that, well, you know, this is day up week, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, so mm-hmm. we gotta pick them, right? Okay, Falcons at Buccaneers. As good as the the the, the Bucks played last night. Um, you know, the Falcons can't they can't lose. They, they, they can't keep losing. You know what I'm right, saying? Right. I'm going with the Falcons just, just on the fact that you know, um, I, you never know the Bucks may be that team, but I, I, I don't know. I think the Falcons get that one. I'm going with the Bucks. <coughs> I think they got this win. You think it's going to provide some momentum? Yeah, I think it's going to help spread them on. Revis was looking really good yeah. in the game. I think um, the Bucks they're at home too. I'm going to pick the Bucks. It's a divisional matchup, but you uh-huh, which I'm going to pick the Bucks. Yeah, you play a little harder, so. Now I'm still going with the Falcons. I just think the Falcons is they got look, they done went from like heroes to like zero in like no time flat. No time flat. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I don't know. And I, I just think it's, it's they do for a win. Okay. You know, yeah. Lions at Steelers. That's that should be a pretty good game. I'm, I can't remember um what is that? I'm going with the Lions. I like the Lions only because you know they are they kinda got an offensive explosion going on right now, man. Reggie Bush has just done came to, to mm-hmm. form. Um, you know, the Steelers are still, they still just kind of like, and I don't know, let me just say this now. I know the first thing I, I remember seeing earlier in the week that Ben Roethlisberger was talking about, uh, at the end of the season, he wanted to be traded or released and whatnot. And I was actually excited for a second. You know, until you burst my bubble, you know what I mean? told him that he said it was a lie and he yeah. doesn't know how that rumor gets started. I, I was He's not the, trying to leave Pittsburgh. I was waiting on the team to start turning on Mike Tomlin. I, was, I just wanted to see what would happen if that happens, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I didn't say that I don't I like, my, I, I like Mike Tomlin, but I wanted to see what would happen if somebody on the team directly defied him like that. So that would have been awesome to watch, you know what I mean? But they're going to lose this game this week, I believe, again. I don't know what their record is. That should be terrible, right? But they won last week. <clears throat> okay. Right? Yeah, I think it is. Yeah, one last one. Yeah. Okay. Cardinals at Jaguars. You know, the Cardinals, I got to respect the Cardinals because the Cardinals beat the Panthers, right? And, and, and like, how are you going to beat the Panthers and then lose to the Jaguars? You know what I'm saying? I got to respect my that. Well, I picked the Cardinals because, one, this Jaguar win was a, was a fluke. And, uh, <laughs> it was a fluke. Yeah, and the Cardinals yeah. defense is really good. Yeah. So, I'm going with that. All right. 
Raiders at Texans. Man, this 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 would have been a good game if mm-hmm. if the team ain't going through all this turmoil in, in, in Houston. Um, the Raiders, though, they've been kind of surprising, but they ain't really stepped all the way out to the front. They ain't really just stepped out and said, "Bam, we here." Right. You know, um, and, I, and even if they went in there and beat the brakes off the Texans, people still ain't gonna respect the Raiders. They, you know, they they need to really beat somebody. You know, I, I think they win this game. I think the Raiders win this game. Yeah, but you know, I, I think they really still need to to kind of hurt themselves a little bit. Ravens at Bears. Ravens at Bears. Bears having quarterback issues, right? Colors in, colors out. They going back to Josh McGowan this week. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I don't know, man. I think I think we we might get to go ahead and just wrap up the, the Bears for the season. Okay. Um, I'm yeah. Ravens? Yeah, I'm going with the Ravens. I'm going with the Bears. I think uh, Josh McCown is a pretty decent quarterback. He is a decent quarterback. And I think that the last few weeks, the offense runs better with Josh McCown. I think his problem is that he's still young, and so he made some poor decisions. Like, if you look at the game, was it last week? They were going for the two-point conversion Mm -hmm. against Detroit. And they have stacked the box. Stacked. There was no way that run play was going to get off. Right. He's still ran the ball yeah. instead of turning it into to, to a pass play. Right. Yeah. He he doesn't have that, that confidence yet to change the play when he needs to. Right. And I mean it was evident there was no way you could run the ball, but he ran the play that he was told to run. Right. I don't know. I just I don't, I don't think the boys play like I don't think they rise to the occasion for account they do for cut whatever reason I know the whole little romance or romance between um Marshall and Cutler. I mean, it, it's documented. Yeah, right but now. as soon as they took Cutler out, they came back and only lost five points. Yeah. So, <laughs> I'm, I'm going Bears. You got Ravens? Yeah, I'm going okay. to the Ravens. Yeah. Browns at Bengals. Wow. So, look, look, look. I'm trying to figure out. The Bengals are slowly slipping and falling off a little bit. Mm-hmm. They need to get it back together, they're man. They're still in the lead. They're still in the lead. But mm-hmm. I think it's only about like one or two games, I think. Uh, like yeah, it ain't, they, it, ain't, it ain't like they got like a stranglehold on, on the division. Oh, no, 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 no. Um, and, and the Browns were playing good football, and I, I wouldn't be surprised if, if the Browns actually won this game. But I, I want to say because the the, the, the Bengals are another one of the teams that, that play good one week, mm-hmm. and then they, they kind of play bad the next week. Um, and they, did they lose? Last no, they won last week. But you know, no, they, they lost. Oh, they, but Gio, yeah, but Gio, the yeah, Gio Funny Bernard though is still becoming like a really big deal in Cincinnati. Uh, I think he even, well, you know, it's the weird little tip, juggle, Hail Mary deal with A.J. Green. But A.J. Green really, he ain't that guy. Like, he, he just, he's, he's not physically imposing like, like he was last year when he was running around with, when they had the squad uh, with Simpson and Gresham and Green. I think that trio was working a little bit better than, than like, Gresham is still there and Green is still there, but, but you know, Simpson is in, in Minnesota. Mm-hmm. Um, but, but Giovanni Bernard, though. He's that dude, though, man. But I, I don't know. I, I, I'm, I'm gonna go with the, with the Bengals on this one. Maybe it's a sentimental pick. But um, I, like I said, I would be surprised if the Browns won this game. Chargers at Dolphins. I'm going Chargers because I just feel that the Dolphins are gonna implode for the rest of the season. They got too much going on. I don't see them. You know, around. and the Chargers can can throw up some points. Yeah, I, I was waiting on the whole thing to come out about how the Bucks beat the Dolphins because of all this nonsense and the distractions and. And, and all that. I'm, I'm just waiting on people to use that as, a, as an excuse. Well, it's not yeah. an excuse. It really is factual. You can't right, have right, right, right. turmoil and yeah. your leadership being called out and it not be a distraction. You can't turn on any sports channel and not hear about this story. Right. So. I don't know, man. I, I can't. The dog was at home. I'm just saying. I think. You going with the dog? That gives them a little bit of a chance. But no, I, I, I feel you. I, I personally believe that, they, uh, that they're that dealing with some other stuff. And, you know, and, and watching, you know, Mike Wallace. Go through the motions that he going through, and if he was frustrated last week, he gonna really be frustrated this week. <laughs> you know, and I can't put the Dolphins just yet. And I guarantee you, after this game, then we'll go ahead and write them off. Okay. Yeah. Packers and Giants. You know who I got? Um, you got the Giants. Yep. A- in the in the Meadowlands. In the Meadowlands. Meadow um, Aaron Rodgers hurt. Yeah, Aaron Rodgers is hurt. Um, and, and they just got, got Matt Flynn off waivers. Right. So because it was it was Seneca Wallace, and then it was. You said the Wilds got hurt, everybody in Tyzel or Tyron Tolzien. Yeah, from the practice squad. I, I don't know what it's like. I remember Tolzien when he was, you know, was playing college. But um, I don't know, man. Without Aaron Rodgers, man, that offense just don't work. You know what I mean? The only thing that really still is consistent is that it makes his, uh running. This is going to be a good win for uh, for New York. Even though, you know, like, well, they, I 
I'm going to get somebody that's 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 going
I, I think that the Panthers win this one. And like I said, I'm not as nervous about it as I was last week. So right. I think that's, that's the way I feel about it. I'm trying to figure out who's on the buy. I know the Cowboys. Oh, the Cowboys on the buy. And uh, oh, you had it at the top of your page, but I think you cut it off. I forget. I think it was, um, oh, goodness. I can't remember either. I cannot remember. Who was, who was that on the paper? It's Washington not- Redskins. No, the Redskins play the Eagles. Oh. Oh. Did you pick that game? We skipped that game. Yeah, we skipped that game. Yeah, okay, Redskins and Eagles. Divisional so game. Yeah, that's like, 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 important yeah. game. You know what I mean? This is what I'm saying about the Eagles. The Eagles have showed me that with Nick Foles plugged into this this offense, that it works. And I've seen them throw up some crazy amount of points. And then, you know, he did some stuff a couple weeks ago. They won last week too, right? Um, then they had to go out west. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um... So, you know, I like the Eagles. The Washington Redskins are just showing me that they can just take a punch, right? That's, that's, that's all I've really seen from the Redskins. Like, you can knock us down. We won't go away like that, you know. And that's cool. <laughs> you know what I mean? But you can take a punch. You can't win the game, though. I think I think in this game, I think the, the Redskins got a better defense than, than Philadelphia. Oh, wow. That's that's. I, I, that's, that's saying something, man. Yeah. I, saying, you know, I think it's better. Mm. You know, if we talk about 26th, 27th ranked defenses mm. or whatever, you know what I mean? But I just think that, you know, the, the, the Eagles are faster. So they can put points on the board. It's going to be hard to catch them. You know? I, I'm going to go with the Redskins. Why? Wow. Because the Eagles can't win at home. Yeah, they have a hard time winning they, They're like yes. old and forever at home. Yes, they are. And I just see RG3 has to make a statement. He, yeah. has, he has to win. Yeah. I mean, they lost to who last week? Uh, the Vikings? Yeah. I, I don't know. They, yeah. they got to beat the Eagles. Yeah. Okay. Well, the other team on the buy is the Rams. Yeah, the Rams. That's right. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. So that's, our, that's the show for the week. I'm trying to think. Uh, well, we got to Team more TV Live tomorrow night. Uh, seven, it'll, be, it'll be at 730. It won't be uh, delayed like this one was this week. We just had a little bit of rough rough weekend trying to recover. Um, then uh, I just want to throw this out here now. I know we still got ways to go. But we're going to be uh, changing the format up a little bit for the playoffs. We're going to do, try to do merge Team Boy TV Live and Team Boy TV Turbo. I mean, Team Boy TV Game Time together. Um, it should be awesome. I'll give you more details as we get closer and closer to the playoffs. It should be pretty good. Um, I'm trying to think. Oh, I think we will finally get a Team Boy TV since top 10 this week because I'm off this week. You know, this weekend, most on Thursday or Friday. Right. So I, I might be able to do it. So hopefully we'll be able to get that out. Um, you got anything? Now we'll have another NFL pick. There we go. There you go. All right, y'all. Um, that's going to do it for game time this week. And, we're, and uh, we, we guess we'll, I'll see you guys tomorrow night. <laughs> but uh, I am out. Big Q. Pretty B. Team Boy TV. We'll see you all next week. Peace. Peace.